Today I'm talking about my photography favorites for February 2020. I need to know everything, who and the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're Welcome telling back to me. my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm a photographer and video editor. And today I'm gonna to be talking about my current photography favorites. I'm using the term photography as an umbrella term to include still photography, videography, and film. So basically anything shot with the camera. My first favorite is Grunge and Art Magazine. This is a really cool editorial magazine from Germany. It features all film photography in a really casual editorial style. And if you are a fan of that kind of grungy portrait look, you're really gonna like this. I also find the writing in here to be really endearing. And I like having a printed copy of this. I like having something printed that I can hold in my hands and flip through. But if that's not your thing, you should just go ahead and check out their Instagram account. Their Instagram account is grunge and art underscore mag. And you can just check out a bunch of the work for free on Instagram and get inspired to go do your own shoots. And that segues perfectly into my second photography favorite, which is just film in general, 35 millimeter film. Here's my box of film. And I recently have shot three models on film, which reminded me of how much I enjoy shooting on film. I shot all my recent film portraits on the Canon AE-1. This is the camera I recommend to people who are absolute beginners. I would definitely recommend the AE-1 or something similar to beginning photographers. I really am not a huge fan of the plastic cameras. I've tried a couple of them, have never really been happy. So I would suggest that you just spend 50 to 100 bucks and get an actual used real or metal camera. The results are gonna be so much better. The lens I'm using on this is a Canon 28 millimeter prime lens. That means it doesn't zoom in and out. You kind of have to physically move yourself to get the right distance and the right angles with people. I find that having these little barriers, like having a set number of frames to use or having to physically move myself as opposed to just relying on zooming in and out really makes me a better photographer. I'm able to slow down. I really think about how I'm framing things. I'm just a lot more thoughtful when I'm shooting and I really just love shooting with film. And I'm definitely going to continue to shoot on film throughout this year on a regular basis. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna do these current favorites videos on a regular basis. So if you have any suggestions of photography stuff you want me to check out, go ahead and let me know on Instagram. I'm gonna link to all my stuff below. Okay, bye. I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything.